Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Cami and this is Cami's Closet. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining. My channel is basically about luxury handbags, contemporary handbags, style, what fits videos, reviews. Um, I called it Cami's Closet because anything that's in my closet that I think I'd, you know, is interesting that I'd share, even in my curio cabinet, wherever. I'm going to share. So if you like that kind of stuff, stick around. And for all of you who have returned, I really appreciate that. And I appreciate that you guys have bumped me up to above 600 subscribers. And please, if you're new to my channel or you're returning, but just didn't feel like clicking the subscribe button, just because you do have to have an account and set it up. So some people just don't want to go through that because I didn't do it either for a while before I started watching, you know, certain people, that's when I started subscribing. So I know that sometimes you don't want to bother opening an account and, and, and doing all that, but it is free and it's very helpful. So if you like watching me or other people, just subscribe and hit the notification bell and always hit the like button, which is one thumb up because it helps the channel grow. And you know, there's some kind of algorithm or something so uh, you know I don't even know how it works but it would be very appreciated if you subscribe to my channel today I'm doing two videos so if you see me in a little while after this video wearing the same clothes no I didn't sleep in them I'm just gonna do one video and then another video because I wanted to do very quickly this coach unboxing and I mentioned I think I mentioned this in one of my previous videos that I was interested in buying this bag or not this bag. I just said I have a bag coming, but I really am not sure if I'm going to like it. I'm not a hundred percent sure that I'm going to like the color or the design, but the price was phenomenal. So I took it. So I'm not going to, if everyone knows coach, when you get something from coach, I already opened the box to save time, but if you get something from where are I? Where, where, here I am, sorry. You get something from Coach. It's packed like, like it's going in a, a time capsule in, in space. So I wanted to just um, do a quick, quick opening. And I also, I don't want to unwrap the whole thing because I peeped. And I'm not, probably not keeping it. You guys could let me know what you think. It's just not for me, and I'll tell you why. Um, so I don't want to take everything off because if, it, if I'm sending it back, I want someone else to be able to get the same bag, you know, with all the, the wrapping. So, so it's like a completely brand new bag to them. In any case, I will just take off the first layer. You guys must know this. This is the um, Coach and Wesselman collab. Um, let me raise it up higher. And this is the Rogue 25 with this absolutely beautiful design. Um, if you know what the Rogue is, then I, you know, I, I don't have to take everything off. It has top handles, it has a crossbody strap, it's coach, so I'm sure the strap, everything, the straps are detachable, adjustable, it has feet, we know that. I actually, I like the design, but I would have preferred it on the chalk color background. I feel like um, I'm not crazy about the camel tannish color. Uh, it's really pretty, but I, I just feel like this one in particular has too much yellow in it, and I don't like it with the red. I would have preferred the red mouth on the chalk, Coach Signature chalk color, or even like um, a light gray, or even a pink, um, or, or black. But for some reason, this is the only color I feel it doesn't do the mouth justice. Let me bring it up closer. Also, I didn't know, but usually when you get coach like the bag charms, I thought that this would be like um, kind of like a, a rubbery sparkle. It's like a, a rubbery sparkle. 
it's hard to explain. If you know coach, you probably know what I mean. This is not. These are actually, which is, you know, really pretty, but the lips are actually little teeny, teeny, tiny sequins. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't know that. Let's see if you could tell if I bring it all the way up close. If you look at the white, you could see that it's sequin. You see what I mean? If you look at the white part, they have white in, in it. I guess it's supposed to look like it's a shine. Um, honestly, this rubs on something. These sequins, uh, there's a good chance they're going to pop off or they're going to bend. I don't have the patience for really babying a bag. Um, I love the design. I think it's really cool. I think it's really edgy. Um, and again, if it was on the chalk or gray or even pink or black, I would keep it. I just don't care for this leather color. I, I just don't care for it. The leather feels beautiful. Everybody who knows Coach, it, the leather is second to none. Probably second to none, literally. <laughs> But um, I, I just don't like the idea that it's sequined. When I touched it, I was like, oh, that's sequins. Little teeny, teeny, tiny sequins. Um, uh, again, I don't love the color. My monitor doesn't do um, color justice because right now I have two ring lights and it's dark out. It's, it's cloudy. If you know me, I don't edit. I don't have upgraded equipment. I don't know how to cut, splice, do any of that. So when it's a cloudy day, I have an old laptop that I film on. So I don't get the best lighting, even with the two ring lights, which is kind of strange, but in any case. So I'm not sure if you're getting an idea. On my screen, it looks a little bit yellowish. And honestly, in person, to me, it's it's it is a camel it's a true camel color i think and camels kind of look a bit yellowish maybe blondish anyway so i you know i didn't want anyone to think like oh she's you know doing an unboxing and then she's returning it yes we're entitled to do that if we order things online and you don't see it in person you don't know what it's going to look like. It can be totally different in person. Um, so I, I kind of had a feeling, but I wanted, I got it for $223 on the coach outlet. And I thought that I was getting an amazing, it is an amazing deal because it was originally like 900. I would never, ever spend 900 for any coach bag ever. But um, I thought I was getting like this m amazing deal that nobody else knows about. It had sales like that already for months and months, so it wasn't some amazing deal. Two twenty three might have been the lowest price, at, you know, at the, at, that it's been on sale for. In any case, um, I'm not going to go through the uh, aggravation of trying to sell it, get my money back, make money on it. It's it's not that important. I don't love the design color on this color leather I just really don't so um, I'm gonna send this back but you know if you guys you know they, they still might be available they still might be available I mean maybe they weren't the, I don't know they, they dropped the price so drastically that they might not just be what people are really looking for I don't know um, again if the leather was different I would keep it but Anyway, so that's, that's that for my coach. Very quickly, I want to show you something that I found very interesting. I was in TJ Maxx just yesterday, and I was walking past, um, you know, they have, like a, they have fine jewelry, and they also have um, costume jewelry. And I was walking past the table with the costume jewelry, and my eyes went right to this gold chain. And I kept saying, why that chain looks so familiar? Is that like a, an inspired designer chain design? It just looks so familiar, but I love it so much. It's so pretty. And I don't buy, I mean, I'll buy costume fake jewelry for cheap 
inexpensive prices. I will not buy a Louis Vuitton gold necklace for $1,200 because it's brass and it's junk. Um, so if I'm going to buy a luxury designer piece of jewelry, it's going to be either sterling silver, 14 karat gold, 18 karat gold. Otherwise, I'm not going to buy it. So I don't have much luxury jewelry. I just did a video on that. So you could check that out. Um, but I have costume jewelry. And when I saw this design, I said, I have to, I have to get that because it was... it. I found where I saw it and I took a picture so I'll show you this. Look at this. This necklace is 14 karat gold and it's $3,030. Look at this design. Hopefully you'll be able to see it without a glare. Maybe not. You see that design? It's like a horse bit design. So I said, well, maybe it's an Hermes design. I don't know, but I saw this and I had to get it. Let me move you closer real quick, real quick. I don't know, are you able to see the design? Hopefully. I thought it was beautiful and it doesn't look brassy. It looks very gold. I put it up against my 14 karat gold piece and my coach gold necklace, which is also just brass. They're not, they're not precious metal, the one I have, but I got that only for 40 bucks, so I bought it. This one was $12.99. Yeah, $12.99. Here's the box. And it's called, wait, I gotta put my glasses on real quickly. It's called House of Harlow. 1960. House of Harlow, 1960. Um, it extends from 16 to 19 inches. I took it, actually I took it because I said, you know what, it, 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 has, it has a lot of weight to it. It could extend and it looks exactly like the necklace that I saw that I kept saying, oh, that's really pretty. What is that? And I really don't want to spend $3,000 on a 14 karat gold necklace right now. So I said, let me take this. It's $12.99. If I wear it for six months and then it gets crappy or peels or changes color, I still think I got my money's worth for $12.99. So that is basically um, what I wanted to show you. TJ Maxx, not online. Maybe they have it online. I don't know. Um, again, it's called, I forgot already. <laughs> my memory is bad. House of Harlow. So maybe it's online, but this was at my local store. So anyway, um, I'm not wearing any rings. I just have my uh, diamond studs on and my Movado two-tone gold and silver um, watch. And the reason I'm not wearing any rings is because I did a luxury jewelry video and I also did um, jewelry that my mom left me and I got a lot of requests to do fine jewelry, a fine jewelry video. So I'm going to film another one. That's why you're going to see me wearing the same clothes, the same necklace. I'm just going to do, because I have a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to do a fine jewelry fine ring collection, my fine ring collection, which will include all my 14 karat gold, yellow, 14 karat gold white, and sterling silver rings also. My main sterling silver rings, because I have about, oh, I have like 50 little sterling silver rings that I've acquired through the years. I'm not gonna show all of that, it would take forever. Um, but I'm still going to do a few different videos because next I'll do my, um, you know, necklace and my bracelet video. But coming up next, if you're watching this, you might watch that one first. That depends on what you see. But I'm going to do another video on all my rings. So stay tuned for that. And thank you for watching. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for subscribing. And I hope you subscribed. Again, takes two seconds, just right below. Just do it, just do it. It's easy breezy. Have a great day, bye.